What's up, everybody? This is your girl, Luxury D. I know I'm late as hell, but I definitely still wanted to get this done and get this out today so I can stay on some type of weekly schedule. I'm trying, y'all. So much been going on in my life, honey. My emotions is everywhere at times. One day I'm on top of the world. The next day I just feel like everybody's against me. Jesus, everything just be falling on me at one time, Father God. But one thing I know about my father, still he'll never put more on you than you can bear. So, honey, when you don't hear from me, just know the doll is working and grinding, like always, trying to stay ahead in the float. But you are still in my heart. I love you. And I'm always trying to devise a plan how to, how to get back to you. Baby Jesus. <laughs> but in today's, um, I know I said last week that, last What's Tea episode, that um, we were going to change it into a healing type of podcast, which I'm still going to speak that way, but I think I'm just going to go ahead and separate it. So I'm putting that healing show on pause and I'm just going to keep the What's Tea Radio podcast, how they are with, um, you know, just tea about celebrities and myself, you know, just simple. My What's Tea Radio podcast are basically me checking in and in the midst of checking in, just, you know, conversing about celebrity tea, gossip and um, and myself. So we're going to keep it simple. Um, and Fridays, um, I remember I was wanting to do a show called Sexual Healing, like last year, year before, a couple years ago. Um, so my Saturday show I'm working on is, you know, an extension of the sexual healing. Like I just changed it. I rebranded it into, um, TS Luxury D late night show. So it's just, um, you know, that, that show is specifically for my adults. It's going to be adult entertainment. Um, you guys know I, um, am adult entertainer. So I definitely want to use that late night show to answer questions and, you know, just have some background conversation. Um, so in today's though, what's T radio episode, we're going to discuss quickly about, um, the debate, not necessarily the debate with Kamala Harris and Mike Pence, but you know, um, the statement on, uh, pardon me, it's so late. If white people believe they are privileged and if they use it to their advantage, um, we're going to talk a little bit about Scarface. We're going to talk a little bit about um, the craziness that happened on the Real Housewives of Potomac recently. Um, so, if you're here for it, stay tuned. start this off by saying don't y'all be giving Jeffree Star too much now. Jeffree Star is my baby. Don't y'all be acting like y'all ain't never met somebody and on Grinder jacked and gave them your bussy, pudissy head and ass and titties and then they didn't rob you. You didn't woke up, they was gone and your purse was gone. You know what I mean? Or you dropped them off at home and you came back and, and, and your shit was gone. Because I'll never forget, I met a boy like off of Urban Chat or some shit. And we never fucked or nothing, but I had him over and I got a weird feeling. I went upstairs, I was getting dressed for something. The guy had a client or something. I was getting dressed. Came back downstairs, took him home. Ah! Excuse me, y'all. Next thing you know, the next day, he called me to come pick him up. And um, he broke into my house and my stuff was stolen. I guess he left a window open the other uh, the day prior when he was over and I went upstairs to get dressed. I guess he left a window open. So when y'all have company, make sure y'all locking windows, turning on alarms and doing the most because people are scandalousness. But don't be giving 
Jeffree Star too much, okay? It happens to the best of us, period. Who, who even knows? They might even, you know, they might have been in on it. Jeffrey probably deep down inside knew that wasn't going to last long. He was just milking it, just like the nigga was milking it. So they should have just came up with an agreement. Jeffrey gave him so-and-so amount to be with him for a week, period. That's how they should have just did it, honey. But at the end of the day, don't be giving Jeffrey Star too much. Now let's get into this, 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 this. this. This Mike Pence and this Kamala Harris stuff, okay? Now, granted, I don't have children. I have a goddaughter. But I don't think anyone should be able to control anyone else's body. If the lady wants to have an abortion, she should be able to have an abortion. There are pros and cons with abortions. It can actually hurt your body. So if she wants to take that risk, let her take that risk. I don't know what the whole problem is about abortions. You're paying for it. It's coming out of your own pocket. It is a service. Okay? Now, I get it. People should not be reckless. Maybe there should be like a a um, a number amount on how many abortions you can get or whatnot. I don't know. But I definitely am not a part of the group of people that think, you know, abortions are bad and they should be stopped or forced. You know, abortions just should be what it is. It'd be available if you need it, want it, period. Okay, I don't believe in killing babies, but I do understand rapes and mistakes happen. Condoms break. If your body's working, functioning normally, if everything's the way it's supposed to be, if that condom break, that little drop of nut get in there, bitch, you're going to get pregnant. I get it. You didn't mean for that. You put the condom on it. Broke. I'm not ready. I get it. I definitely get it. Now, moving on. Do I believe most some, if not most, white people are aware um, of their privilege and they use it to their advantage. You can tell by how they walk around with their chest poked out. You can tell by their expectations. You can tell by how they treat you and how they treat each other. You can tell by how they treat others that aren't white and how they treat each other. Now, this does not go for all. I, I have some lovely white friends you know, fans, some are in my family, I've dated, had sex, business partners, like, it's just, why I love white people, I love everybody, so this is not to you, listener, individually, this is not um, about everyone, but to the person that the shoe fits on, you know, I um I believe that you do own your privilege. I can tell by how you talk to people when things don't go your way. I can tell by how you honk your horn disrespectfully. I can tell by how you disregard everyone else's opinions, feelings, or situations. Definitely. I definitely do see and feel that you use your privilege to your advantage. And who am I to say that is a bad thing? Because, you know, I would. Women use their sexuality to their advantage. Men do too. You know, it's the same thing. You know, you use your beauty to your advantage. You use your wisdom to your advantage. You know, if you're super smart, you're not going to act like you're dumb. You know what I mean? Like, at the end of the day, I'm not trying to say you're wrong for that, but let's just stop playing dumb and ignorant here. You know what I mean? So, moving on. Scarface is in the hospital, y'all. Poor baby. Let's give, let's give a, a minute. For Scarface to just send a prayer out for him. 
Father God, I come to you right now. And I pray that Scarface holds his head up. I pray that you give him strength. I pray that you give him love. He's in the hospital right now. We know how that can feel. You can feel alone. It can feel cold. He needs a kidney. I pray that everything goes well for him. And that he knows you're looking down on him. And that he survives this. In your name I pray. Amen. Now, child, last topic before I let y'all go. I told y'all it was late, so I wasn't going to hold you too long. We going to talk about this real Housewives of Potomac. Monique and Candace, baby. So, I guess Monique is getting backlash because she... Grabbed Candace by the weave, a handful, and dragged her down on top of the table. Now, see, if you watch the real Housewives of Potomac like I do, you would know that it was just a matter of time. I do not agree with Monique's actions, but at this table, Candace was egging her on. She was pushing her. She was antagonizing her. Now, granted, Monique has been picking on Candace. She has. She has. And they were initially friends when Monique was, when Candace was first introduced to the show, they were friends. But Monique even then referenced to, oh my gosh, she's so crazy. You must, she, she might pop you. You might have to pop her back. Like she was, her statement was physical. You know? Honestly, deep down inside, I feel like Monique is jealous of Candace. Monique's life is what some would call perfect on the outside looking in. Yes, she's a beautiful black woman. But I feel like that young spirit, that bubbliness that Candace possesses that keeps her so youthful looking and that just that grandness that she possesses, I think Monique is threatened by that. I really do. I see it written all over her face. The same thing that intrigued her is the same thing that disgusts her. And Candace was doing just that at that table. Twirling around, you know, just yakety yak. Because Candace isn't taking Monique seriously. Because in Candace's mind, I've apologized to you. We've talked. We've squashed it. Like, what's the problem? Candace doesn't really see the issue anymore. So she... At this point, just like whatever, she's like water off her back. She just looks at Monique like she's just, she must be playing something's wrong, whatever. You know, it was nothing to her. She didn't understand the fire that Monique was feeling inside. Honey, Monique must, Candace must have said, um, what you gonna do, drag me? And Monique said, do you want me to? Do you want me to? Reached out and flipped her hair. Next thing you know, when she flipped her hair, Candace's um, drink went flying in Monique's face, busted her lip. Um, Monique had her down on the table with her hair in her fist. It just was a mess. Bopping her upside her head. And then Candace, for the longest, she wasn't swinging back. But eventually, toward the end, she started... Because she knew she had a glass in her hand and it could hurt someone. But eventually, she started swinging back. 
So I did notice Candace really wasn't trying to fight Monique. She did. She even when Monique grabbed her hair and had her down on the table, she was not trying to hurt her. So it's just a mess. Um, but that's it for tonight. I thank you guys for listening. Um, Saturday, okay, please stay tuned because Saturday, um, Lord willing, I will get this late night show together and, um, I'll have a call in number for you guys to call in and share your opinion. So I'll talk to you then. Love you guys. Good night.